All right guys, today is gonna to be my first install video. It's the first true video that's gonna be on this channel. And what a better way to do a first video on this channel for 5 Old Fury than to go ahead and add some more horsepower to my Mustang. So today, I'm going to be installing the PMOS tune required colder intake to my 2016 Coyote Mustang and I already have the tune ready to go. All right guys, so this, I'm just gonna show y'all. This is the box that the intake came in and I don't know if y'all can really see that box or not, but it is not in good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, which I kinda already did, but when I first got it, open it up. This looks like it's the, uh, the part to move the uh, reservoir. Cause I know you have to move that over. It's packaged pretty nicely though. Get that in the frame there. This is gonna be the uh, huge tube right here. Oh, nice. It looks like the, uh, the clamps are actually black, which is kinda cool. Usually they're silver, but that's kinda cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, obviously you have to take off the stock air box first before I put it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the old one off first. So obviously the first thing you have to do is you have to um, unhook the negative battery cable. So the next thing you're gonna do is you have to take off the engine cover. It's super easy. Uh, for these model Mustangs. I actually kind of already undid the first two front corners. You literally just pop off the engine cover from each corner. There's these little bolts and you just pop it right off. Super simple. All right, so the next step, guys, is you have to take off, I believe it's three of these hoses. Um, this hose, this hose, actually got to take off, I think I guess there's four hoses, this one, and then that hose as well. They all connect to the stock air box. I believe this is the bypass, idle bypass hose. There's this little black um, button here. You just push back and then you'll just pull it out. Basically do the same thing for all the other ones. It's just a little tab. You just push down on it and it comes out. So to take out the sound tube, just get a pair of pliers. You'll clip it together. There we go. I'm going to do the optional sound tube removal. I already have um, it disconnected from the stock air box, and then I also actually already undid it from, there's a, a clasp right here. Actually, it's a push pin. I always hate those types of push pins, but you get it off, and it's gonna be very hard to show you on camera um, because it actually is attached to the back or the, the firewall. So as you can see, I finally removed the sound tube assembly completely. Um, I will definitely say it is very, very hard to get to the back of the firewall. Um, not only to get the nut off of the sound tube assembly that's back there, it's a 10 millimeter nut. So what I had to do is I had to use an extension, actually. I use a 18 inch extension, as you can see here, with a quarter inch swivel. And then I put a deep socket um, 10 millimeter deep socket on it because it is a long bolt. Now it is time to undo the stock air box. So what you'll need is 10 millimeter socket. I'm just going to undo this bolt right here that connects the stock air box to the car. So you put the new fire shield in here. You're going to use that same 10 millimeter bolt. I already went ahead and moved the 
reservoir tank over and then I already put the um, part of the colder intake that attaches to the throttle body. I already have attached, I already attached all the hoses. Uh, the, there's one underneath and there's the other two, of course, I took this sound tube off so that already has a cap on it. Never get tired 